right. Welcome to this stop on the Words Alive Story Station. Quick tips and advice for big people looking at books with little people. We know that children learn best when they do and when the things that they learn are connected to the relationships and experiences in the real world that they have. Today, an example of what that could be is taken from the book Penguinot by Marcy Colleen an awesome story based on the author's visit to the San Diego Zoo that follows Orville, a penguin who builds a rocket and goes to the moon. Uh, definitely check it out. So one of the things we can do when we're exploring books with the young people in our lives is to model the kinds of things that we do in our head once we are a capable, fluid, strong reader. We can show them what this looks like by the observations we make and the questions we ask and the way we play with the things that we read. So one example in the story of Orville going to the moon is this picture where an elephant friend is slipping a note into Orville's spacesuit. That's a perfect example of a detail and an illustration that might catch your eye. So a thing that we can model for the little people in our lives would to be say something like, oh, I noticed that the elephant is slipping a note into Orville's suit. I wonder what that note says. And the answer doesn't really matter. It's something that you and your little person can talk about, um, and it's something that you can imagine together. That's an example of an observation we can make when we're looking at books with the young people in our lives. If you wanna connect it to uh, a real life experience, maybe after you finish reading this story or whatever book that you're looking at, would be to do something you saw happen in that story. So in this case, when the elephant is slipping a note into Orville's pocket, something you can do afterwards might be to invite the little person who you're reading the book with to uh, sit down with you and you can each write a little note and keep it secret and then perhaps take turns slipping it into a hiding spot in the room and take turns looking for it and reading what those notes say. That is an example of um, reacting or reenacting an element of the story uh, that they can connect back to a real experience in their life. See you next time and our next stop on the Words Alive Story Station.